So my name is Natalie and I did my behavior observation module on the desert cottontail. I focused on the freezing mechanism of the cottontail and I'm going to explain the four levels of analysis and why and how the cottontail does this. So what's the cause of this mechanism? Why do they do this? And the main cause of this mechanism is basically the cottontail can blend well with its environment. Um, Brock, jo Jones, and Bach point out that the cottontails thrive in areas with low trees and shrubs, like the Sonoran Desert, and this allows them to blend and hide. So they can freeze because they can blend in with the environment and they can't be seen by their predator, which allows them to kind of process the sound and process what they're hearing before they make their escape and before they run away. Another question is, how have cottontails really come to know why to do this? And this is kind of the evolution of the cottontail in general, and just it goes back far to their ancestors even. Um, the abundance of the prey, especially in the desert areas, you know, you have coyotes, hawks, all these different animals hunting them. The cottontail is constantly on watch and constantly has to look out for itself. Jackson and Oxville point out that the desert cottontail learns constantly to watch because it's been so exposed to these predators and so much more exposed than other animals in the world, such as the rabbits in Chile or rabbits in Spain, as Jatsik and Oldsfield uh, studied in their study. So development also plays a key role in this freezing mechanism. And Deersing and Wilson point out in their study that Smaller bodies and bigger ears are beneficial to the cottontail because um, it kind of allows them to, A, hide under, you know, smaller bushes and smaller areas where predators can't get to, and B, it allows them to basically, you know, listen for any movement and listen for absolutely anything in their environment, anything in their surroundings. You know, their ears are up in this uh, freezing mechanism. They're listening, you know, they're waiting for that predator to either leave or see if it's coming closer so it needs to get out of the way. Um, the bigger ears are very beneficial to them. So the ultimate function of why um, desert cottontails do this freezing mechanism is, is basically predator avoidance. Um, the art of, in the article Landscape of Fear, the authors kind of point out that these cottontails aren't as fast as a coyote or a hawk, you know, they can't run that fast. So they have to, you know, kind of blend in with their environment instead and kind of just by freezing there, you know, they're not as easy to point out because they're of their coloring and their coats. So, I mean, if they can blend into their environment, then they can ultimately, you know, avoid being seen by the predator and potentially, you know, they can survive. So kind of after breaking it down with the four levels of analysis, we can basically conclude that this mechanism is basically essential for the cottontail survival and without it, it wouldn't be able to survive as well as it has today.